Yo, 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 what's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Arham and some of you guys already know and if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. We're trying to get to a thousand subs as quick as we can and I say that in every single video and I know you guys are probably tired of hearing that but if you guys aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. Uh, about 80% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed so uh, let's try shorten, shortening that number down. But with that being said, I'm really excited for today's video. I know you guys are excited for today's video. Um, as you can tell by the title, in today's video, I'm gonna be revealing the wheels I put on my car. Um, the thing about these wheels, I've had these wheels on my car for like two weeks, so some of you guys have already seen them. Some of you guys have seen me driving around and um, have seen them then. And some of you guys who are, have me on Instagram have seen sneak peeks of these wheels. The only reason I didn't make a video quicker is because we ran into some technical issues and um, the previous video that I recorded, the SD card got lost, so I just lost all the footage. So yes, this is the second time I'm recording this whole entire video, but with that being said, guys, please make sure to hit this video with the like, talk about the wheels, fitment, and whatever you guys need to know about these wheels after you guys see these wheels. So guys, please go ahead, enjoy this two minute clip of the wheels. you guys just saw on my car are the wet sports sa10rs now i picked all four of them up with the tires for a thousand dollars which is a steal like honestly uh these rims they retail for a lot more just the rims alone and the tires that are on the car are falcon azenis falcon azenis i don't know how to pronounce that the tires are the falcon azenis azenis uh whatever however you pronounce it fk 453s the fitment is uh there's 245 35 by 18s uh, the whole rim itself is 18 by nine and a half but anyways uh those tires are pretty expensive tires as well and i got them all together which was a really good deal the seller who sold this to me was a really nice person uh he helped me out actually a lot i actually picked up an oft tablet from him as well and uh right now i'm currently running the stage one pop tune <laughs> And I'll do a video about that in the future, but uh, yeah, so he did help me out a lot and uh, I'm just glad that I got a good deal on these. Now, here is where we run into like a little bit of an issue. So my car, as you guys know from the previous video, is on is on Eibach Lowering Springs. The wheels setup that I'm running are 18s by 9.5 plus 45 offset. I did calculate it and it was a really tight fitment. So once we put on the wheels, the rears fit perfectly fine. But we ran into a little issue with the fronts. Uh, the fronts were actually touching the strut of the lowering springs. The setup that I'm running right now, you can only run it with coilovers. And I can see why, because coilovers are very thin compared to lowering springs. So we did have to shave off some of the stock suspension, uh, probably like a millimeter of them off. And then we also put on a five millimeter spacer. So the fitment that I'm running right now, it does work. Like there's no rubbing but the only problem is it's really tight fitment so it is 
kind of scary. Uh, if that makes any sense to you guys, I'm sure the people who don't really care about Fitment or whatnot are just here to look at the wheels, will understand that. Uh, the seller who sold me these as well went ahead and gave me Gorilla Automotive Lug Nuts, the rainbow uh, colorway, and those alone are like $150. Those are very expensive as well. I was kind of skeptical because the colorway that I have right now is hyper black and blue, and the red on blue, I was like, yo, I don't know if that's going to work, but honestly, it looks really nice on the car, and it matches the blue burnt exhaust that I have in the back, so that's a plus. All right, so before I end off today's video, I need you guys' help in the comment section below. As you can see, the front have two five millimeter spacers on them and they poke out a bit more than the backs do. Should I go ahead and put a five millimeter spacer in the back as well to even it out or should I leave it how it is? The reason why I'm asking you guys is because I don't really mind. I have two other five millimeter spacers because I bought four in total, but I just haven't gotten a chance to put them on. But uh, honestly, the, the thing is I don't mind how it looks and if you guys want me to put the spacers in the back I will go ahead and put the spacers in the back if you guys want me to leave the two five millimeter spacers in the front Then I'll leave the two five millimeter spacers in the front I thought I'd ask you guys because the friends that I have asked some of them said leave it and some of them said put it in the back So, so it's like really in between and I'll let you guys be the deal breaker So go ahead comment down below should I run four five millimeter spacers or should I just leave the two five millimeter spacers in the front? And hopefully with your guys' help we'll come to a decision I hope you guys like the rims and tires that I have on the car. Honestly, I love them. They look super sick in person. And uh, if you guys want to see more pictures, footage, or whatnot, go ahead, head over to my car Instagram, check those things out. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Drop a like on this video. Also, drop a comment down below as all those things help the channel out a ton. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one.